Plants that are native to Minnesota can both add beauty and also provide benefits to your garden. So glad to have Susie Bachman West with us to show some examples of native plants. Susie, yeah. this is really a hot area of landscaping, isn't it? Why are people so interested in this? It is because native plants are so beneficial to the landscape. First of all, in order to be a native plant, it had to exist at geological times. Mm -hmm. So all of these varieties are older than us. And uh, the reason they thrive is because the natural environment is very conducive to the conditions that they need. Ah. So are so, they beneficial because it's just easier for us to take care of them? Well, or it's easier to take care of in that it requires just the natural amount of water, uh, really doesn't require any pesticides or yeah. whatever for them to grow. But they also have a very strong root system. So they keep back soil erosion, they'll hold the soil oh. in place, and they also will take up cr quite a bit of the rainwater so we don't have as much uh, storm Run water runoff. This is great, great for rain oh. and, and uh, things like that. Right, yeah. for a rain garden. Well, and let's they're talk pretty through, cool looking. Yeah. They are cool yeah. looking, agreed. Let's talk through some of what you brought today. Right, so in the perennial world, there's lots of perennial, the beautiful purple flower here yeah. is Leatris. And it will have the nice stalks uh, in the late summer months that bloom. It also is a great cut flower. and mm, um, Gorgeous. I like that a lot. Uh, wildlife, pretty much with all the natives, love um, the bees, the butterflies, the, bees, the butterflies, Wonderful. the birds um, love having it in nice. their habitat. The berry plant over here is really the pagoda pretty. dogwood is a, a tree. Yeah. Oh, it's and a tree. It is a tree. Okay. Um, it you know a, a shorter tree. Mm -hmm. It's not going to. Uh, be like an oak or right, something like that. Right. But um, it has a beautiful habit in that it sends its branches outward and you can prune it to be more of a topiary uh, uh, huh. uh, type shape or sure. have um, its cool. horizontal branches. And the berries on it, the birds um, absolutely love the berries. Nice. All of our grasses. Um, oh, I love this. A drop seed uh, grass, Shenandoah, the big blue stem mm -hmm. grasses are great native plants. Native and grasses just they, look awesome in the they yard. Look, they yeah. do. They look great in the summer months where they're nice and green and then they'll get their nice plumes in the fall and you can keep them all I leave fall. mine up in the winter. They just look because great. Because they have a lot of great winter It's yeah. visually interesting. They're able yep. to do that. And then the bush honeysuckle shrub and uh, in front we have a dogwood and the nice thing about the dogwoods the some varieties will have a red or a yellow twig the red twig dogwood mm -hmm. um, is very nice so it gives some winter interest as well you've brought a lot of the bigger plants that kind of look like they're ready to go what did you bring that are that are smaller so here? these are uh, native plants as well and um, so this is uh, echinacea Perpea, so it's the original uh, cone flower, oh. uh, and uh, so this uh -huh. is the native one. We have lots of other cone flowers in in Minnesota, but, but this, this is, is the real deal. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, so then a lobelia, agastache, and uh, a veronica. And can you plant so this now? You can plant all of them now. They're cool. they're great to plant now, and they'll thrive. They love growing in Minnesota. Awesome, awesome. Susie. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you.